Welcome back to Window Shopping. Today, my goal is to get canceled by every fandom imaginable at the same time, because today we're going to be focusing on Hot Topic. Pop culture and music-inspired fashion, allegedly. This is a store that a lot of people have requested I do a window shopping for, uh, that I've put off doing because I shop here. A bunch of my clothes are from Hot Topic. They make cute mini skirts, they make cute dresses, and they fit my body and I like them. Like, for example, let me show you. I can't even type, that's so embarrassing. Wow, I thought this would be a lot more convenient. God, why don't I cue this stuff up in advance? Oh, well this little blue skirt, this blue plaid skirt, I have this. Mother of God, I'm trying to help you out, Hot Topic. Oh my God, I'm trying to find the cute dress that I have from Hot Topic to prove that not everything from Hot Topic is ugly because all of my clothes are perfect. So if I own it, it's by extension not ugly but apparently Hot Topic is in the business of blocking their own blessings because I can't find the GD dress. Well, f me, I guess. Okay, I found it. See, this is the Celestial long sleeve dress. I have this and I look adorable in it. So, not everything from Hot Topic is bad. It's springtime, in a sense. It literally snowed today in Massachusetts, which is racist to me specifically. But, you know, it is spring in a general sense, so let's look at some swimwear. This is a great suit for the sexy Disney adult in your life. I don't think I know anyone who is so into Disney that they bring it to the beach with them as well. I'm a little upset. I love that we're still making plus size bikini tops like this. I don't know who decided that every single plus size bikini top needed to be the sort of like molded cup underwire bustier inspired low key balconette situation. The one thing I want for my bathing suit tops is to have my boobs just sort of hoisted up from below by a lazy underwire. I don't need them to be covered all the way by fabric. I just want them to be in some sort of themed cage. Thank you so much. I'm not gonna begrudge people being into what they're into, but some things are just ugly. And this bathing suit is one of those things. Why do you need to look like Mickey Mouse has possessed your torso when you're trying to have a beach day with your family? <laughs> These are Harry Potter inspired bathing suits. Look, I know people love Harry Potter. It's very popular among people my age. And I've always had a little bit of a chip on my shoulder about it because I didn't really like the Harry Potter books growing up and nobody hung out with me on the last day of third grade because it was the day after the Order of the Phoenix had come out and every single other person in my class had gotten a copy and I didn't. So I was like, hey, does anyone wanna do anything together because we're nine and friends and they were like sorry we're trying to learn about what regenerative firebirds ask the barista for at starbucks i've always delighted a little bit too much in making fun of harry potter and harry potter fans and i'm going to do that now too this swimsuit is ugly and I think it's tacky. <laughs> I know that there are people who like know their Hogwarts house and identify by their Hogwarts house that are going to buy just the one swimsuit that is their house. Like if you're a Hufflepuff, you're gonna get the Hufflepuff suit. If you're a Slytherin, you're gonna get the Slytherin suit. If you're, you know, a Ravenclaw, you're gonna get this one. And then, you know, that's all of them. I have to believe that there is someone out there, someone who I never wanna meet, who is so into Harry Potter that they will buy all four of them and just sort of oscillate between them. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I think this one is cute. Hot Topic and Torrid are owned by the same company and they both have super laggy, glitchy websites that I hate. I like this. I would wear this. I think this one's adorable. This little checked moment, just going to a beach for exclusively ska fans. I'm down. I'm dancing a dangerous dance right now. I gotta be careful about what I say. I don't know who any of these folks are, except this guy with the split dye hair is Todoroki, I believe. And I only know that because of Megan the Stallion. You know, this is a, this is absolutely a piece of clothing. Um, so congratulations to all involved. Thank you so much. Oh, this is so cute. This is a Luna from Sailor Moon themed halter top. For those who don't really know Sailor Moon, like I don't really know Sailor Moon, I didn't watch it growing up. Luna is this little cat. Meow. I don't know if Luna's a boy or a girl, but they are a little baby. Oh my God, there's three of them. There's three cats. Okay, well, is there one for the other cats? Like, are there three different ones? There should be. Anyway, this I feel like is a cute, subtle way to work a little fandom detail into your bathing suit. It's not tacky. It's adorable. 
I'm in support of this. I hate these bottoms so much. I didn't look at them as I was saying that sentence. Uh, don't buy these, get anything else. But this top is very cute. I like your lipstick, babes. Oh my. <laughs> okay. I don't really have much of an issue with the aesthetic of these bathing suit bottoms. They're like a pink ruffle. They're cute. But these seem like such a liability. The fact that they're kind of low waist and there's all this dangling frilly fabric. Imagine how much these are going to droop as you're coming out of the water. They might fully cause, you know, a little bit of an international incident at the beach, if you know what I mean if they droop a little bit too much. You are gonna have everybody from Sandcastle to Umbrella seeing your cheek go into the man. And I don't think any of us want that unless it's a certain kind of beach. Oh my God, I love the makeup they put on this model. This like deep blush and this little pink lip and this cat eye, adorable. These bottoms just look to me like an accident waiting to happen. And if we consider how much they look like a diaper, we can go so far as to say they look like an accident that already happened. So this is a Moana themed bathing suit, which is not a Disney movie that I have seen, but it seems very cute. My only qualm with these bottoms is that they look like you were wearing a bikini bottom and then put another bikini bottom on top of it, like how children in the 2000s did with t-shirts and long sleeve shirts. Which, you know, if that's your thing, that's your thing, but I don't know that it is anyone's thing. Although maybe this is a good tactic to prevent any accidents like what we'd have with the last one. Like the pink frilly sort of drop crotch one we've got here. If you've got another bikini bottom underneath it, you don't have to worry about it getting pulled off by the forces of wet gravity. Science is amazing. This seems like a goddamn stretch. <laughs> seems like a stretch. These are bikini bottoms based off of the coronation dress that Anna wears in Disney's Frozen. Dress Frozen. I assume it's the first one. Okay, so it's this dress. Aww. Oh my God. I love little girl princess costumes. I wanted them so bad when I was a kid. Every time my mom would take me to the Disney store, I would beg her to buy me Belle's dress and she never did probably because it didn't come in my size. I was a very chubby little meatball of a child and she didn't have the heart to tell me that Disney did not want little meatball girls in their dresses. Anyway, I don't know why it's taking me out that this is based off, that this like strip of fabric is based off of this one outfit that Anna wears, especially because it's ugly. This shade of turquoise and lime green are not colors that ever need to go together. You can even, look, look at her expression. She's like, really this? All right, now we've reached the normie bathing suits. Where are we, Paxson? Oh my God. I love this bathing suit so much. This is the Euphoria Sunset Ombre swimsuit, and I think it's beautiful. Thank you so much for introducing me to this bathing suit Perry Edwards adjacent model. I might buy it at some point. Although, the way my chest is set up, the outlook is not looking crystal clear for me. But we'll see. These are the Her Universe Captain America swim bottoms. I understand Captain America is a very popular Marvel character, but you have to be really careful wearing bathing suit bottoms like this, because this is an overtly Captain America themed bikini top, and I think if you see someone wearing both these pieces together, you're like, okay, that's a Captain America themed bikini. Fine, whatever. But if you're just wearing these bottoms and you're wearing like a top that's too generic, people are going to think you're patriotic. Ugh. So just be careful is what I'm saying. While we're on the topic of Marvel, this is an Iron Man themed bikini. And I have to be honest, when I first saw this, I didn't notice the little Iron Man decals all over the bottoms, like how it has his face on it and says the word Iron Man. And I saw this and I was like, oh, cool. Is this a bikini that's based off of the carpet from the Overlook Hotel in The Shining? Because that's kind of rad. You see? It could be! With some very minute changes, and I'd be really into that, even though both of the times I've tried to watch The Shining I fell asleep halfway through. But you know, I do like to pretend that I'm very interested in film, and I can bullshit my way through a conversation about the intricacies of Kubrick's filmmaking with any flannel wearing film bro at the drop of a hat. It is very, very easy to impress film bros. It doesn't actually matter what you say about film. You just have to pretend to enjoy a glass of whiskey neat and they'll be like, holy shit, maybe women do deserve rights. Um, I think this is, bathing suit is hideous, but that's specifically because I hate the color combination of yellow and red because it reminds me of hamburgers. I don't 
don't really understand. Well, I do understand. I don't like the trend of plus size bathing suits having this sort of like interior color blocking cut out. So it's like there's a secret thinner woman on the inside. And this has been a trope of plus size clothing for several years. And it's not just bathing suits that do this, but like, why do we need these huge panels on either side? Why can't it just be red with yellow accents? Why does it have to be this little red shape inside of the yellow? Anyway, I'm probably overthinking it, but I don't like how that looks at all. Rounding out the Marvel bathing suits, we have these ones based off of Tom Hiddleston's character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the Norse god Loki. Um, Loki's whole thing is that he's kind of a trickster. He's a little bit of a troublemaker. And apparently he's inflicted this magic on this model by making her wear this horrifically ugly bathing suit. Girl, she looks a little bit distracted in this image, probably because she's trying to remember if she has her lawyer's phone number memorized because she's going to call him and have him sue the shit out of Hot Topic immediately after the shutter goes off on this camera. Why did they do this to you? First of all, does Loki even have this much yellow in his whole thing? Loki helmet swim bot, okay. Loki helmet of angers. I mean, it's gold, I guess. Okay, fine. Yeah, I guess there's like green and yellow. I'm very much a fair weather Marvel fan. Um, I've seen seven movies out of the MCU, which is not very many. And I will only consume Marvel content in a theater surrounded by other Marvel fans because you guys, if you're watching this, are so much fun and you react so big to everything. It's great. Unless, of course, the Marvel content is anything involving Thor as imagined by Taika Waititi. I will go see that on my own volition um, because it's going to be a recipe for an incredible film. Anyway, we're getting distracted. Fine. Yeah, okay. I guess yellow and green are the colors to pick if you're going to make a Loki-inspired bathing suit. But I feel like there's a big departure between this and this. Oh, and it's not this much yellow because of the helmet. The helmet is the print on the bathing suit. Okay, so there's no excuse then. Did you try? I'm asking Hot Topic. Hot Topic, did you try? Come here, come close, come to me, baby. Did you try? I don't think you tried. Really, I should be asking you, her universe. I've seen the shit you've pulled at Torrid. Did you try? Oh my god. I think this is cute in a sense. This is a Winnie the Pooh embroidered denim skirt haul. I'm pretty sure I had the exact same thing in like 1998 when I was four years old. If I didn't have this, I definitely had a denim pinafore dress with embroidered Disney characters on the pockets. You know what? People place too much importance on not bringing aspects of your childhood into adulthood. So if you want to wear a Winnie the Pooh dress, wear the Winnie the Pooh dress. Especially because it's got a little bee on it. I know I just said that, but come on. This literally looks like a toddler's undershirt. I don't know. I'm like, I feel like I'm, my brain is splitting. Like I want to make fun of these things, but also wear whatever you want. But also like this literally looks like you could put it in the bedroom of a six-year-old and it would be right at home. What in the name of Jacques Cousteau have you bitches done? A Little Mermaid chiffon duster romper. That's not a thing. You can't just make up stuff. You can't just make up stuff, Hot Topic. Duster rompers are not a thing. Dusters are a thing and rompers are a thing. Duster rompers are rompers that you sewed chiffon onto. I know I just said, all that stuff about who cares if you're into children's media and you want to wear it on your clothes and you're an adult. But if I see someone wearing this, I will floor it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this. It has tiaras on it. It has this ugly scale pattern. It has the, re the same repeating image of flounder and then a generic image of a seahorse and a sea star and a shell and a tiara. Uh, first of all, it's also the ugliest shade of purple in the actual romper part. It's, <laughs> you can't just put someone in dock inspired boots to make something stylish, Hot Topic. 
You can't just cheat your way to it like that. Why doesn't she have any accessories on is my other question. Why doesn't she have a head is my third question. Why did you make this is the real overarching theme. This is hideous. Where are you wearing this? I may be getting too passionate about this, but like, look at this! I feel like if you're not as angry about this garment as I am, it's because you haven't really looked at it. So to everyone watching, I want you to stare into the oblivion. I want you to stare into the abyss that is this garment. If you have my video open in another tab right now, I want you to close that tab or just switch over to this one, I guess. If you're on the train or something and you have YouTube premium and you're listening to the audio of this with your phone in your bag or something, which is weird because these videos are very visual, get your phone out. Unlock it. Look at it. Look perceive it. I hate that it's the same image of Flounder like five times. That's really what bothers me because why doesn't Sebastian get any representation in this? There are so many other characters in The Little Mermaid aside from Flounder. Why do we just have this generic seahorse? If you're gonna make something ugly and tacky, put a bunch of characters on it. Why just him? Put Flotsam and Jetsam on it. I don't care. All those little worms in Ursula's cave of people that she like cursed and had to rake across the coals, as she said in Poor Unfortunate Souls. Let me look them up. Let's look up the Poor Unfortunate Souls. I want them on here too. I want them all on the bottom of this right here. Hot Topic wants to fuck around and find out. We will fuck around and we will find out. I want to see them. Where's those little worms? These guys. I want these folks. I want this whole crew all on here, all on the border. Why are we half-assing it? If you're going to make a hideous article of Little Mermaid themed clothing, Go whole hog. This is beyond the pale. Oh, seeing it in motion is even worse. Wait, this has ratings. Who bought this? I want to see what they said. Love it. So adorable. Super lightweight and comfortable. Am I a bitch? <laughs> yeah. There are so many things that are lightweight and comfortable that don't look like this, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm such a bad person. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> okay so i've never seen the mandalorian but i know he's a man and he's got like a whole thing as a plus size person i've worn a lot of really ugly skater dresses in my time most of them from forever 21 plus or torrid i can tell you that this dress looks awful if you buy it it looks bad there's not enough of a flare out from the waist it just sort of drops it looks stiff. It looks like it's not going to fit anyone's shape in a way that is comfortable or flattering. It's just fabric in the vague shape of a skater dress. What they've done is made it using the world's ugliest shade of blue and just silk screened on a lazy cartoon reimagining of the, I don't know, what would you call this? Breastplate of the Mandalorian. This is not a fitting tribute to what I've heard is a very good show. If I were a fan of The Mandalorian, I wouldn't wear this. Oh God. I understand when dresses don't have prints continuing onto the back, but it bothers me so much. I don't know why it's the cat themed ones that I'm always okay with, but I think this is very cute. This is a corduroy pinafore dress featuring the face of Marie, who's one of the kittens from one of my personal favorite animated Disney movies, The Aristocats. I had a stuffed animal of Marie that I cherished. I love her. She's a baddie and she's probably why I'm like this. She's a queen and her mom is a smoke show. I think the mom's name is Duchess, yeah. This dress is very cute. I love the pink color. I think it's a perfect little, I love that she's just like this little center decal, but it's not overdone. And then the bow in the back, this is so sweet. <laughs> I think also think it's a really cute length and I like how they styled it with this shirt underneath. I also think this model, like looks adorable with this haircut. This is just all around very cute and I like it a lot. Does it come in plus size? Yes, it does. Oh, we love that. Okay. And it's cute in plus size. Everybody wins. Are you kidding me? This is a skater dress inspired by The Emperor's New Groove, which is my reigning favorite Disney movie. I realized I made a joke about Disney adults at the beginning of this video. I am a Disney adult adjacent person. Mostly I watched Disney all the time growing up and I watch Disney stuff now and I smile at it. So if that makes me a Disney adult, then a Disney adult I am. I love The Emperor's New Groove. I think it's a work of genius and it's fantastic. And this, I'm pointing directly at my computer screen right now. This is 
so ugly and so plain. Oh, I see. They're showing us the details on the hem. I was like, you want me to look at how immaculately waxed this model's legs are? I will, but I don't really see how that's relevant. But they're like, look, remember? Like in the movie. So it's a red ringer dress that is too long. I don't know why plus size dresses always need to go to the knee. So it's got this image of Cusco as a llama, this little lazy outline drawing in yellow in this abyss of red. And then the back just has the name of the movie. Like where part of the crew or just walking around with the project we're working on on the back of our garments. I, the reason this makes me so upset is because the Emperor's New Groove is such, like, I can't even articulate how angry this makes me because this is such a beautiful, like visually engaging, colorful movie. And this is the homage to it that Hot Topic wants me to spend $25.74 on this plain red ringer dress that has no effort put into it whatsoever. There's, why not turquoise? Look at there's turquoise. Look at all this detail. I am operating on the assumption that this is not the only piece of Emperor's New Groove clothing that Hot Topic sells because part of me wants to start yelling about how like, why not borrow from Yzma, who's this like incredibly detailed character who has all these costume changes. Her whole thing is that she's this bombastic, power-hungry advisor, and she's super cool looking. And like, if Marie from the Aristocats didn't make me who I am now, then it was definitely Yzma. Plus, she's voiced by the absolute legend that was Eartha Kitt, and you're... Okay, I have to calm myself down. I am going to look though. If I don't find anything by searching Yzma, I'm gonna start screaming. Oh, <laughs> okay. So what you're saying is you've chosen wrath. Are you telling me, sorry, that was so loud. Are you telling me that the only dress that Hot Topic sells that addresses the Emperor's new groove is this one? You're telling me that you have the wealth of detail and color that is Yzma and you're just not gonna use any of this to make a dress? God, look at her, she's amazing. I am, obs I am learning a lot of things about myself. Um, I don't think I realized how much Yzma meant to me as a character. She's so cool. She's like my favorite villain character. Also, sorry for spoilers, but this movie did come out like 20 years ago. She turns into a cat at the end of the movie. She doesn't even have like a Disney death. She just becomes a little kitty. So she goes from being a bad bitch to being a little soft cat. Like, are you kidding me? That's how I want my life to go. What? And also, need I remind you that the entire time this is happening, she sounds like Earth a kit. Do I need to, do I need to tell you how important it is that Earth a kit, oh, sorry, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I'm just like, I love Eartha Kitt so much and I just don't appreciate the fact, I'm actually tearing up as I'm talking. I don't appreciate the fact that this is all we're doing for the best goddamn Disney. Okay, I need to move on. <laughs> Basically, Eartha Kitt is a legend, Yzma's the best Disney character, and this dress is an abomination. Are these the sun sprites from Spirited Away? Oh, Okay, this is adorable. This is so cute. Spirited Away is one of my favorite movies ever. It was a huge comfort to me when I was a sad little, you know, child dealing with losing a parent. And this movie is so just amazing. This is so cute. Also, look, it's a plus size dress that is a cute little flirty length and doesn't go to the knee for no reason. Nice job. Are these candy corns? I guess this is just a little shirt dress that has corgis on it. I always forget how to pronounce that dog breed name. I always say corgi and then people look at me funny. Corgi, fuck. Corgis and their floofy boot, no. I'm not, I'm not. I'm, floofy, stop it. Just say fluffy. 
I hate when people call animals floofs. It's like such a weird pet peeve of mine. It's like such an annoying word. This is my doggo. Isn't she such a floof? Respectfully, I'm going to burn your house down. Peace and love, but I will be committing arson on you for saying that to me. I'm just like in court. They're like, so Miss Pisa, why did you burn down this person's house? Oh, they called their pet a heckin' floofer in my general vicinity. Oh, okay. Uh, case closed. Actually, they're going to jail now. God, I already know I'm going to get comments that are like, but I call my dog a floof. Rethink that then. <laughs> Maybe don't. I have a vendetta against this dress with the O-ring. Not because there's anything wrong with it, um, but because I bought it and my arms were too fat for it. So I hate it. And I think it's bad. <laughs> I had to return it to Hot Topic. Because if I wasn't careful, I would have hulked my way out of it. The rest of the dress fit fine. It's this. It's just that these mesh sleeves are not very forgiving. Ugh. Okay. I am super biased towards this one. Not only because it's Aristocats themed, but also because I love comic print things. This is so cute. I would wear this. I think this is adorable. I wish it was like a little shorter, but I'm also super biased. I love short dresses. I also wish it flared a little bit more out at the waist. It just kind of drops from the waist, but this is so cute. Oh my God. If you would like a little petticoat to give it some shape from underneath and have like a little bit of a lace moment there to kind of model after the lace trim of the sleeves, that would be adorable. Like I don't hate all the Disney stuff. I thought I would be spending this entire video being like, this is ugly specifically because it has a licensed character on it, which is like not <laughs> helpful to anyone. But no, I like some stuff. I like some stuff. Not this, but some stuff. This is kind of like the adult version of those princess dresses I was talking about earlier that I couldn't buy from the Disney store because I was too fat for them. <laughs> those little dresses, like little girls princess costume dresses, and also these little cars for kids that like you could drive around your backyard and stuff. Oh my God. I wanted one of these so bad. These and the princess dresses were the two things I was always too fat to use when I was a kid. I wouldn't fit in the little car. <laughs> I was too big. I was like too chubby and too tall of a child. And I could never fit into any of them. And I never got to have one because of it. And I could never fit into any of the princess dresses. <laughs> It was miserable! I've been a larger than average person my entire life. I don't mind the fact that they're like a sort of overtly princess themed thing, but I don't like the image, like the, you know, screened on print of like the sewing machine. Because a real princess dress wouldn't have that. Like, is this Sleeping Beauty merch? Or is it a princess dress? You gotta pick one. You can't have both. Oh, it's another dress I have. I have this checked one. It's very tight, but it's very pretty. How many people do you think bought this dress to be Carol Baskin for Halloween? I know it's not a tiger print, but I think she wears other prints, right? Sometimes I remember that like, at this point it was now about a year since Tiger King was popular and I just don't think anybody had the right interpretation of that series. First of all, I don't really think Carol Baskin killed her husband. Second, if you came away from watching Tiger King thinking Joe Exotic was some like fun eccentric folk hero and not like a super dangerous creep of a person, I don't know if I trust you. <laughs> Who's been making fun of everything? It's been Nisi Pisa all along. I don't know anything about WandaVision, but I will say that this shirt is so ugly um, and I hate it so much. And I know some people still wear peplum, so I'm not going to be like, who wears peplum still? But I personally despise peplum tops especially ones that have just this gap. First of all, like, look at this. Look at how, for lack of a better term, shitty this shirt looks. Wanda did not die for this. No, I'm thinking of Natasha, Black Widow. I gotta pay better attention to these pieces of content. We are an unusual couple. WandaVision romantic couple, cowl neck. First of all, don't make anything cowl neck ever. It's terrible. I cannot help but wonder if this is a couple's article of clothing and if there's like a male equivalent of it. And if there is, um, and I see a couple wearing a pair of matching cowl neck sweatshirts that say we are an unusual couple, I will bully you. Just warning all of you, if you see me out in public 
and you and your partner are wearing these, I will try to steal your lunch money. And I'm six feet tall, 5'11 on Tinder, and I will probably succeed. I might give you an atomic wedgie. I don't know. It depends on how I'm feeling. Basically what I'm saying is if you wear these shirts out with your partner, maybe don't wear underwear that day, you know, just for safety. <laughs> Okay, these two I love because they're very clearly shirts that came out around St. Patrick's Day. They're green. It says luck in the name of the shirt. We have one for the Incredible Hulk and one for Captain America. And I don't dislike the idea of these. I like graphic t-shirts with big decals and like big lettering. And I also like that they have the vintage sort of comic inspired images of the Hulk and Captain America, as opposed to like, you know, a shirt with Chris Evans' face on it. Not that I don't want Chris Evans' face in the vicinity of my chest, but not like this. <laughs> what, I, what I do like about these is that the lettering doesn't actually make sense. Like, this is supposed to say luck, but his head is kind of a circle, so I read it as lock. And if you want me to just insert his whole name, Lahulk, lack, if we go by this A. Or... Le Captain America. This is a Deadpool themed tank top. I like Deadpool. I liked the Deadpool movie. This does fall into the category of graphic tee that I would make fun of if this slogan was on any other shirt on any other website. Like if this was just a red t-shirt without Deadpool on it and it said, I love you and by you I mean tacos, I would be cackling about it like I'm doing right now. I love you, and by you, I mean tacos. Do not talk to me before I've had my morning tacos. I just got a bad thought looking at all those WandaVision shirts that said we are an unusual couple. Do you think there's like, I almost don't want to say this because I feel like I'll manifest it and I'll see it later tonight when I'm on my phone. There's gotta be a couple on Tinder looking for a unicorn that has we are an unusual couple in their bio. Uh, it's so upsetting to think about. Okay, I don't know who Morbius is, but this shirt's kind of sick. Although, why this font? <laughs> this is like a very tame font for what is one of the scariest images I've ever seen on a shirt. Who is this guy? Morbius. Kind of feeling him. Jared Leto. Never mind. I think that they should have more shirts with Katherine Hahn on them. I've seen cartoonish depictions of Agatha or Agnes or whichever one is her actual name from Wanda of Vision, but I haven't seen any that are just photographs of Katherine Hahn. And I think we need to be doing something to remedy that. Hot topic. I don't need I love you and by you I mean tacos. I don't need we're an unusual couple. I don't need La Hulk. I want a t-shirt that is just a Polaroid of Katherine Hahn. For those who don't know, Katherine Hahn is an actress who plays a character in WandaVision, and she is very beautiful, and I have just such a crush on her. Hey, queen. You look really pretty in these earrings. Oh, it's you have a hair out of place, Katherine. I'm so sorry. Let me just tuck it behind your ear gently. I know, my hands are really soft. I use very expensive lotion. Oh, Catherine, you didn't tell me we were bringing guests. Who is this, like a friend of yours, Catherine? You didn't tell me about Mr. Ty over here. Catherine, she looks so pretty in those dress. Okay. <laughs> All right, that seems like quite enough. Although at the same time, I feel like we've only scratched the surface of Hot Topic. It's pop culture and music inspired fashion. And all we did was take a very shallow look at pop culture. We haven't even gone into the realm of band merch. <laughs> oh, God. So anyway, thank you guys so much, as always, for watching Window Shopping. Let me know if there's any other stores you'd like me to do this for, or if you want me to dip my toes back into the ocean of licensed products that is Hot Topic. I'm definitely open to returning. Before you leave, I'm going to need you to do... Oh, my God, wait, this is cute. This is cute. It's awful for the last time, but he's a little backpack. That's adorable. Anyway, before you leave, I'm going to need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that would be, hmm, culturally appropriate. If you would like to interact with me betwixt uploads, which will not be as few and far between as they have been, I apologize. I haven't uploaded in a while. School is kicking my boochy right now. Uh, and I just haven't had time for this. But I like doing these window shopping videos. It's nice to feel like I'm good at something for a change. 
So I will try to be a little bit more consistent with these. But if you would like to interact with me with text uploads, I am Nisi Pisa on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. So check me out there if your heart tells you to do that. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being you. All right. Goodbye.